The outstanding debt of the Philippine government rose to more than 15 trillion pesos by the end of the month of May. Treasury Department attributed this increase to the continuous weak peso value from the past weeks and months. Mia Layagin has the details. The outstanding debt of the national government of the Philippines increased anew, now recording 15.35 trillion pesos by the end of May 2024. In a press release, Bureau of Treasury reported a 2.2% increase or around 330.39 billion pesos rise in the current total debt of the national government in comparison to the record in the month prior to the data. The department noted that this increase was an impact of the depreciation of the local currency against dollar value, from which the current peso-dollar exchange is at 58.786 pesos per dollar. From the total debt stock, the external debt is at 31.965%, while the internal debt is at 68.04%. The May domestic debt is recorded at 10.44 trillion pesos, which is 1.3%, or 134.34 billion pesos higher than of April data. This increase has resulted from more than 131 billion pesos net issuance of the government, as well as the 2.63 billion pesos effect of peso depreciation. Meanwhile, the external debt is at 4.90 trillion pesos, which is 4.2%, or about 196 billion pesos higher compared to end of April. Based on the Treasury Department's report, this can be attributed to the 122 billion pesos net foreign loan availment and the 76.94 billion pesos in upward revaluation of dollar-denominated debt. Third currency movement also provided a 2.94 pesos downward trend effect in revaluation. On the other hand, the national government's guaranteed obligations decreased by 1.06%, which was due to the net repayment on both domestic and external guarantees with an amount of 4.36 billion pesos and 3.55 billion pesos, respectively. This is Mia Layagin for Euro TV News.